Hello Java developers, my name is Matt Rabel. Today I'd like to show you how to build a secure REST API and native image with Quarkus. Let's giddy up! I created a demo script for this screencast which you can find in this native Java examples repo, demo-quarkus. And it uses ASCII doctor, so I have a handy dandy ASCII doctor plugin I can use here. And we'll just build a simple REST API that returns the user's information. We'll use a JWT or an access token to access it. And then I'll compare its performance with other frameworks like Micronaut, Spring Boot, and Helidon. And we'll go ahead and ensure that we have SDK man from sdkman.io. And then HTTPI, E, HTTPI is how you're supposed to say it. And then the Okta CLI. And if you don't have the Okta CLI, you can get it from CLI. Okta.com. And as we're going through this, there are some times when I will type a bit of code and it spits out a bunch of code. So those are using IntelliJ Live Templates. You can find mine on GitHub at mrabel slash idea live templates. And you'll need SDK man to install Java 17 with Graal VM. So SDK install Java there. And uh, if you're using a different version and you're using SDK man, you can just do SDK default Java and then that version number. So 221 is the first version that works on the M1s and I'm using an M1 to record this. So then you need the Okta CLI to create a new account. So if you don't have an account, you can do Okta register. I already have one. So I'm gonna do Okta apps create spa and this will be an app that we can use to actually get those access tokens. So I'm gonna use OIDC debugger for this and that's at OIDC debugger and the redirect is at debug and the logout will work just fine. And then we can open up the OIDC debugger website and it's got my information in here from the last time I used it. Uh, my client ID did change, but you'll wanna make sure and use your issuer that Okta gives you plus V1 authorize here. And then down in the token URI, make sure and use V1 token right there. Check code, check use PCE, P-K-C-E proof key for code exchange and hit send request. And then we get our access token back and we can go ahead and set that here in our terminal. Then back to our tutorial. We'll go ahead and use Maven in our downloads directory here and this Maven command to create a brand new Quarkus app using small ry, JWT and rest easy reactive. And once we have that created, we can CD into Quarkus and open it up in IntelliJ. And then we'll want to modify the hello resource. And I have a quick shortcut, QK hello. And you can see it takes a get request to hello and it's authenticated. So it requires that you authenticate and they'll return the principal's name. And now we can add our Okta information for a micro profile and its JWT support. And this will be our Okta tenant back here. So we should have that in our terminal and scroll up a bit, grab it from right here, paste it there. And you can see the public key location, which is at V1 keys and then the issuer itself. And we can modify the test because that will fail now because it's looking for a 200. So we'll change that to a 401 and then there is no message. So let's go ahead and set that. And then we can build it and run it using Quarkus Dev. Now we can open a new terminal window and hit it at 8080, hello. We'll get a 401, right? We're not authorized to do that. Reset our token and then hit it with an access token using HTTP IE. So we're passing in that token now and we get a 200 back and it returns my email address. Pretty slick, huh? Now we can convert, or first we want to kill, you know, that previous process on 8080. Make sure it's down, sure enough. And then we can uh, package as a native application. So you can see that took about 50 seconds to build. So not terrible, but a lot longer than, you know, good old MVM package. So now we can start it up using target and it'll be Quarkus 1.0.0 snapshot runner and that started in 21 milliseconds let's make that a bit bigger and 11 milliseconds wow 
try it again and 13 milliseconds so pretty quick right 11 13 like <clears throat> awesome we can look at the startup time comparisons for the various frameworks so what I did here is I started each one three times and then I ran it five more and I took the average of that so this is on a MacBook Pro Intel which I think was from 2018, 64 gigs of RAM, like, you know, as fast as they were on Intel. And you can see Quarkus starts in around 20 seconds, so 19 seconds, Micronaut 30 seconds, Spring Boot almost a minute, or not a minute, but 60 milliseconds. So these are all milliseconds, not seconds, sorry about that. And then I did some memory usage comparison, and you'll see that, you know, Quarkus, when it first starts up, uses 23 megabytes. Uh, after the first request, it's 34. And then after five requests, it only increases a couple megabytes. So that's pretty awesome. And then I also did it with my M1 Max, which I'm recording this on. And you'll see Quarkus averages 12 milliseconds to start. So, so fast. So fast you barely even notice, right? And then megabytes used on start. It's a bit more than uh, Intel up here. You know, 23 versus 33. And then after five requests, a bit more as well. So I'm not sure... You know what the difference is between Intel and and M1 as far as it comes to memory, but um, you know really nice developer experience where it builds much faster. And we've also built this into the Octa CLI. So if we were to go to Downloads here and just create a temp directory, you can do Octa Start Quarkus, and it'll create an app for you on Octa, an OIDC web app, and configure it to you know work with Quarkus and then tell you what to do. So pretty slick, right? And then you can find all of this example's code on GitHub here. You know, it uses uh, Quarkus 290 there. And then, of course, the blog post that this originated from, build native Java apps with all of these frameworks. So I hope you've enjoyed this screencast today. You can find me on Twitter at mrabel. You can find my team on Twitter at octadev. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more cool content like this. Thanks. Have a great day.